Ah, it's time. It's time for some forgotten Gialli. Volume 5 from Vinegar Syndrome. I've been looking forward to getting my hands on this for a while because it's more Gialli movies, some I've never heard of, some that loosely fit into the Gialli uh, kind of genre tropes. We're going to start off with White Dress from Mary Alley. Uh, this one from 1972 has some added intrigue for me as we have uh, Ivan Razumov as Massimo and he wasn't just a bit part player, he's there for the majority of the movie, in fact he's one of the main characters which I really liked in this one and it's got so many certain kind of tropes familiar to Gialli that I really love. <laughs> We have a familiar killer who is killing people, the kind of one that people always say, oh hi, before being stabbed by a sharp object or something else altogether. It's fun anyway. We have a uh, Marielle who, as a young girl, sees a tragedy. We jump 30 years to her married life. She's living in a castle with her husband and his butler who seemed to be up to something really nefarious with this woman kind of drugging her but she's got a plan. She's invited a host of their friends up for the weekend for a masquerade ball but you know what? There's going to be a lot of death in this one. There's going to be a lot of fun deaths at that and there's going to be mystery and intrigue. Who's the person behind the knife, the black gloves? The mysterious killer that we want to figure out and for the most part it's really kind of fun because it has oodles of atmosphere. In fact it really builds up right from the ground. You get all these shots of people who are loosely hanging on by a thread who look as if they're ready to snap at a moment's notice which gives us, the viewer, plenty of red herrings of who the killer could possibly be or when are they going to start because there's a kind of subterfuge going on here as well with Marielle is looking for people to help her break free from the confines of her husband. Although that might be easier said than done when the blood starts to stain the white dress of Marielle. <laughs> Papri! I like this. I like the performers. I like the way it kind of built up the atmosphere. It kind of lost me a little bit when we get to this masquerade ball, which is so uh, full of debauchery and just kind of in your face ickiness that I, I just kind of didn't like that. There was a little bit of a detour during that part of the movie that I wasn't keen on, but that's just personal taste on that. And the, the costumes and the ghoulish aftermath of the makeup I've, once the party's been and gone. It leads to a kind of theatrical nature to this movie and the horror that's now to come because it takes its time in building up the mystery, who everyone is, before unleashing carnage and all the blood and guts and gore and deaths in the final third of the movie. <laughs> But for the most part, it sticks to the say, base points that uh, Gialli should have. And I kind of appreciate doing that. I kind of like the fact that it doesn't try to break the mould. It doesn't try to elevate it. It just does a good, solid storyline. It's not one that's going to stick for too long in the memory banks. But it was a lot of fun. White Dress for Marielle is really kind of interesting. It's got some nice atmosphere. It's got some really bloody and unusual kills. I think my favourite is probably the one in the swimming pool, if I had to pick a favourite. I liked the, the reveal at the end, although I do feel it was signposted just a little bit too easy uh, because of certain aspects of the movie I won't spoil for you. But you know what? Ivan Razumov cuts a fantastic figure as a hero, as the main man we're watching, as the, the kind of driving force, the everyday man, us personified in a character to go through this world. That's a good start to the volume of Gialli, volume 5 set. I'm looking forward to moving on to Tropic of Cancer next. Let's see what that has in store. As always, I would love to know your thoughts on this, uh, this film, so let me know in the comment box below what you think of it. 
as always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. If you've seen the rest of the movies, drop a comment uh, before I do the reviews and we'll see what you think of it before then. In the description box are links to the Patreon and the membership program and where you can buy some Man V Film merch. Thanks for watching. See you next time.